with foodie influences from Malay and Chinese cuisine mixed with the jungle flavors of Bornean tribes, Sarawakian food is something to experience. So come along and I'll show you the top 10 foods to eat in Cushing, Sarawak. I thought durian was bad. This is pubu ayam and it's a popular rice porridge dish in Malaysia. It's got some ginger in it and onions and um, it actually has little bits of chicken in it. I thought maybe I might be able to pick out the chicken bits but it's actually really finely grated in there. It's a little challenging to navigate but otherwise the flavor is really nice. It's breakfast time and I was told I should go to Chinatown to try some of the laksa or kolomi. I have no idea what either look like, so I'm glad there are picture signs. Kolomi is a super popular Sarawakian comfort food. It's boiled noodles with a little bit of spring, tossed in light oil, soy sauce, garlic, and MSG. It's said to be the signature dish of Kuching, and locals just go crazy for it. I'm not a huge fan of fish balls. I'll pop in in separate bowls. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with that. Eat it separately or together. This is just, they're just so hard to make but on, a, on a morning like this. I'm really stoked about the noodles. The noodles are kind of tasty. I think we need to pour them together. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix them together. Now that made a big difference. It's a little on the oily side, but that's probably where the flavor is. And in Sarawak, there's um, a whole menu of drinks in there. Anywhere from um, taste to um, special, which is kind of like a three layer drink. I've been, I've been noticing they also sell wheatgrass. In the United States, wheatgrass is actually pretty expensive and it's like a very strange version. It's more like a syrup drink, actually. <laughs> Their herbal um, teas and their flower teas can be a little too sweet for me. I'm not sure what kind of sugar they mix it with. I feel like all the teas can kind of taste a little the same. Although wheatgrass tastes a whole lot more horrible than that. Um, a little dressing of cilantro and some prawns in here. Wow, that looks great. Let me go ahead and try it. Straight off the bat, I can taste the curry that's in the noodles. It's spicy. I want to say it's almost like Indian curry. A little milky, a little musky, uh, earthy kind of flavor. Here we are at Zan San Yen, a vegetarian restaurant, and I'm totally stoked because we're finally, I'm finally going to get to eat some good stuff. Right now I'm in veggie heaven because I am a vegetarian restaurant in Sarawak. It's kind of like a little procession of food and you can have, you can choose what items on your plate you want and then they'll, they'll um, weigh it and, and charge you for it. So, so. Mm -hmm. This is jungle fern. The texture is meat. Jungle fern right here, the midden. midden. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's some kind of uh, protein fritter. Got some tofu and this is dried bean curd. Um, 
and they mix in some kind of soy, soy sauce. That tastes like chicken, like barbecue chicken. And then came the midden dish, like the midden salad, I want to call it. That was another really amazing dish too. It was like a cross between uh, morning glories and okra. And the midden is it's found in the forests and it's a really good plant because the more it's cut, the more it grows or regenerates. They saute it in like a fish paste spice or like a chili spice and it's kind of got a nice you know, clean feeling going down and it's kind of got a slimy feeling as well. I like that midden a lot because it made me feel like it was like, I don't know, detoxing or cleansing me out. At the UTC or the transportation building, you have Top Spot. It's a seafood buffet. Blueberry plus chocolate. Uh -huh. This one is uh, Oreo. Mutiara. All people like three this one. Oh, yeah. More famous. Sweet sour. Yeah. Kind of like pineapple, no? No. Orange peel. Oh, orange peel. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of the sweet but tangy. Wow. I feel like they keep trying these, like there's so many different flavors and they're all like a mixture, a combination of flavors. Mm -hmm. This one is used chocolate brownies plus rising, fruit and dates. Oh. Uh, by steam eight hour. You can keep this one up <laughs> more three months. Okay. You don't have to refrigerate. Don't have. Wow. If you want to drop traveling, you can bring this one. Oh, that must be a popular one for yeah, people visiting one. relatives too, right? Yeah. Like oh, okay. So that's called Hati Hati Pare. Just name. Uh huh. Uh, this one's more popular. Oh, okay. That was the one I tasted too. Yeah. That one is a distinct taste. Yeah, like sweet and. Yeah, sweet. So only in Kuching can you find this kind of layer cake. <laughs> And then lemon and strawberry. Um, so all of that in one mouthful. I'm gonna get this one. I could spend a while in here because there are just so many different flavors. Right off the main bazaar and Kuching waterfront is A Young ABC, a popular street hawker that's known for his ABC Kentong. ABC is a Malay abbreviation for mixed ice, and it's a popular and refreshing dessert in Sarawak. see like jellies of different types um, anything from the little small round ones and the the green ones Let's see right now it doesn't look very appetizing but 
but it tastes really good, especially on a hot day like this. ABC Canton is a local favorite, striking fond childhood memories in locals who remember pre-ice cream days. It's shaved ice flavored with syrup. It's inexpensive and a great dessert for the Bornean heat. Just make sure you eat it fast before it melts. Here's Sarumbana. This is what it is. Sarumbana. Okay. Sarumbana. What is what is in Jagun? Jagun. J A O N. J A O N. What, what is inside? Uh, you can pick um, whatever choices you want and I can pick grill it or uh, fry it up. And then at the end, they will kind of count how many things you've uh, picked up and charge you by piece. 